Fordham basketball started practice a week ago and the Rams are wiping off all the dust and are hoping for a great start to the 2013-14 season. I was here practice today and I'll give you all the analysis here on the Sports Cycle. Going to take it himself. This is up. Steps back. Can't happen. We walk slowly, but we walk forward. We don't take steps back. So every day we got to get a little bit better. I told you it's going to be 80 practices this year. Get 1% better every day in practice. At the end of the year, you'll be out of the play. That's what Tom Bacora preached today. Lock it up and stand together. The Rams worked on multiple drills in practice today. The first drill was ball screens and having the bigs set the guards open for scoring or open pass opportunities. Then the guards worked on managing the blitz, or essentially a trap in the backcourt. One of the lengthy parts of the practice was time management. Both Maroon and White were working on managing the clock as if they were up by 12 with 8 minutes to go in a game. It was all about understanding how many effective possessions it should take to win a ball game. Then the fun part started with the 5-on-5 five -five drill and the scrimmage to end the day of work. During the 5-on-5, five -five, Brian Smith and Mandel Thomas definitely stood out. I loved their intensity towards the game. They weren't talking much after possessions. They were alert, ready, and treated the day like it was business. Smith hit a lot of three-point shots with confidence, and Mandel was very effective on defense and attacking the rim. The end of the scrimmage was interesting. White was up on Maroon 13-12 and Khalid Robinson hit two free throws to go up 15-12 with 24 seconds left. Mandel Thomas then rushed it up the floor and handed it off to Brandon Frazier who then passed it cross court to Thomas again but it was broken up by Chris Whitehead and the White team succeeded. Speaking of the new point guard Chris Whitehead, he and Antoine Anderson displayed playmaking talents for the Rams upcoming season. Whitehead reminds me of Chris Clark who played on the 2007 Temple Owls team. He is small, a good ball handler, and can make quick decisions with the ball in his hand. Very versatile player. Anderson has a left-handed stroke which is tough for a right-hand defender. He has a nice shot and can make athletic plays to the basket like this one. He can be a change of pace guard this season. The standout freshmen displayed their talents in practice today. John Sevier can flat out score the basketball from different spots on the floor. He also plays smart and doesn't force shots like many freshmen do. Jake Fay is 6'5 and will be a 3 or 4 this season. He plays solid defense and can hit outside shots, but his athleticism is what makes him so valuable. He can body up big men and run with the guards. I was impressed with these two gentlemen. Finally, Travion Leonard wasn't on the floor for practice, but was working with trainer Dave Zippo and running on the treadmill. He looks in incredible shape this season, and his stamina looks much improved. So a lot of young players stepped up today, like Faye and Severe, fighting for those minutes this season. The core system does look entertaining with a deep front court and a deep back court in hopes to get more wins in the win column this season. Remember, Ramtown here, 9 p.m. You better be there. Don't miss that event. Get your first chance to look at the Rams. Reporting from the Rose Hill Gym, Donnie Dwyer, thesportcycle.com.